everyone, it's Gabriel Online here, and welcome to a Sims 4 household makeover video. So, this is basically just a filler um, episode for today, as I running, I don't have much time to record at the moment, and hopefully I have this weekend to pre-record a little bit more videos for you guys. So, I'm just gonna show you footage of how I created my how I read in my whole household and as you can tell right here I'm using some new I'm using Maxis match hair this new one right here it looks like the Sims that Sims work together hair only the ponytail on the sides a lot bigger I also gave her special um, custom eye color and as you can see right here I was looking for an interest I was looking for something different I want to keep the still the red black um, idea or the red shirt but I didn't want it to be formal. I want her to be more casual now. Because I feel like now living in the city, she doesn't really care about her appearance. So she'd rather wear something more casual, Lillian. And then I found these custom made um, leggings that I thought went really well with the um, top. So I decided to do that. I also got rid of her undercover like look, I should say. And I ended up switching it basically to her formal wear. As really... I mean, there's no point of it anymore. Like, she's known, but she doesn't need to be that ridiculous and go undercover. So as you can see right here, I'm looking for something to wear. I was going to still keep the same red aesthetic, but I decided to screw it. And I'll eventually go with just this, like, black formal wear. I did try to do a suit, because I feel like she would have done a suit. But it, the just male outfits are just so awkward on female sims. Same with female outfits, so I just kind of scrapped that up, or gave up on it, as you can, as you'll end up seeing later. But yeah, because I mean, our, my my steps have gone far. Lillian, she's ve she's ve was very preppy at the beginning, but now, same life is exhausting for her, especially being a politician. So when she's home and stuff, which is what we see her wear most of the time, she's a lot more laid back and less caring. Um, trying some different makeup, change her look. She looks very, di like, she looks very different, like, and she's a really pretty sim, and I didn't really have that, like, goal in mind for her to make her, like, ex extremely gorgeous, but, you know, it's amazing how a couple of hairstyles and a few, um, bits of makeup can make a sim look drastically different, or even more, um, prettier, even though it's kind of sad, though, sometimes that makeup, I mean... She was pretty, though, even without the makeup, too. I think it's really that Lumia Lover um, skin overlay that just makes her skin look a lot younger and clear. But overall, I think I did a good job with her. Yeah, I feel like I'm treading into some very deep water that can get me in trouble. But anyway, um, I'm in formal wear. I'm looking for a nice j dress. I basically, and yeah, this is when I was like, did I have Lumia Lover on? I think I always had it on, but I didn't care. And the reason why I never put it on May was it was because it gets rid of her monoliths and it doesn't make her, doesn't match her ethnicity. But Lumia Lover doesn't give her, um, gives all Sims a double eyelids, so it doesn't really work well for an Asian Sim. So that's why I didn't give it to May. But I think it was fine on Lillian, so I just kept it. I also put on these 3D eyelashes that are very gorgeous, as well as I this interesting swimsuit, or I changed that actually. Okay, now I just immediately moved on to Enzio. Uh, for Enzio, I, I mean, I just wanted to give them a little design. He wore like this black suit or bl black T-shirt and pants, so I gave him this gray and green, um, shirt that worked fine. I also got rid of his man bun. And cut, basically cut his sh hair short. And again, I've been... I think I used that summer one. I go back to it, I think. No. I was looking at choices. I was looking at a lot of interesting choices. Yeah, okay. So I ended up going for this one, which is like spiky on top of that Hanzo hair, though. It was spiky at the top, but short short on the sides, I believe. I didn't do that one because it looked too much like his father. Let's see if I go back to it. Again, I'm just playing with random hairstyles. Oh, I went for this one. It's, again, long on top, short on the sides, it's shaved. And then I was looking at different beards, and I, 
don't what the I don't remember what I did as for beards. Did I go I I think I went for that yeah, I went for like the slight not the shave, but uh what would it what's the word? I don't know. Here I'm changing her eye color to one of the new eye tones I have. And then I decided like since I'm I'm giving him now like a green colored um outfit for his formal wear so I changed that white shirt that completely white outfit to greenish again just really I'm just editing the small things like just changing up their looks to give a fresher look to them and using some of the new packs that have came out although I might end up doing a makeover again when the game pack for vampires comes out and the bowling alley stuff as it could be objects I could use yeah as for like the city living stuff overall it was okay but I prefer, there's a lot more pets to prefer, like, I really love that outdoor, um, uh, that backyard stuff, uh, like, j jean jacket or something, it looks like, the jacket looks like jeans and the, um, collared shirt, that looks nice, and I'm also, you and I've also wanted to use a bunch of different mods, I was looking at that, okay, now moving on to May, May's outfit was hard, because I wanted her to have longer hair, but... I just wasn't having it for some of her hairstyles, and I thought about changing her hair color, but that didn't work out. Eventually, though, I find this hair, this, like, big, I don't know what you call it, bob or something uh, off the side of her hair. You'll, you'll see it. And, again, tinkering with hair colors and stuff. Not really what I have. Yeah, there it was. I oh, just passed it. Like, she, I, her, I, she is K-pop star inspired, so really anything could go for her, which is what I was looking at, but I don't want that to be with her at the moment, as she still isn't really a K-pop star yet. She's really just a big indie, popular indie artist. I went for that hair for her sleepwear, as it looked really nice, and I was gonna use a special, like, Asian face, like, overhaul, but it had, it looked really choppy. It looked like it was clipping the regular default skin weirdly so I ended up getting rid of it although in hindsight I might put it back on her or don't even know if I keep it I could be wrong and I didn't want to use and some of the hairs I liked on her Lillian was using so that didn't really work out and I did turn her hair back to black because that is her actual hair color it's not brown, dark brown it's black and oh I actually liked that this hair is okay I just don't like how the hair parts and stuff. It's kind of awkward with the long hair, but I didn't use that. Okay, I was playing around with that skit, that Asian, um, face overhaul. Didn't work well. Um, here I was tinkering kind of with her body shape and her clothes. I forget what I... This is her everyday wear. Okay, there we go. Uh, yeah, I get her this purple shirt, and then I have this, like, special, um, accessory add-on, like a jacket that I put over it. It... It adds, it makes it a lot different and adds variety to, like, this outfit. This is probably my favorite outfit, that was probably my favorite outlet from, outfit from City Living that I enjoyed. And right here I was tinkering with that, but I eventually go back to that original one as I thought, as it looked fine. Because this color scheme is kind of awkward to me, the white and the black. I mean, it's okay. I don't think it's something I use. Cause, yeah, I didn't overall like it, so I was like, screw this. And, again, I wasn't liking the hair, too, so I scrapped that. And I went back to brown. I didn't... Yeah, actually, maybe I don't even... I do keep it with the dark brown. I don't remember. It's been a while, and I don't pay attention to my how my sims look all the time. That's a problem I should fix with myself. Yeah, again, tinkering with hairs, as you can see, it's pretty obvious. I'm just commentating the same thing. And... I didn't like how bangs looked on her. I thought they would l look nice, but I was totally wrong. And that, I, did, I don't like how long that hair was through the bottom of her. Uh, I thought about going back to her regular hair, but I was like, yeah, no. And I thought about using that hair, but I've already used it on her before, so I decided not to. I guess this is when I decided to go with blonde, but then I switched it back to brown. We should... Okay, yeah, this is where I was like, okay, I like this. This is good. We're done. I switched, I was looking at, I was playing around with, um, contacts for what would look good on her. She will usually have a different color contact on, depending on how she wants to look. And, again, that's going to be part of the whole K-pop idea for her. But, 
But yeah, I'm just playing with makeup. It took me a real long time to get her outfit. Her, she probably took the longest to get her everyday wear done. I thought she was pretty. Her and Oliver were probably the hardest ones to come up with. Yep, I was playing with a lot of things. Yeah, see, I eventually go back to it and I add a black jacket eventually. When it, hopefully it's coming soon. Come on. Okay, there we go. Here we go. So I changed it to black, right? Or, okay, play around. I keep forgetting to give them nail, um, nail polish, Lillian and May. I have that in here. I just haven't, I just keep forgetting to use it. And it's a really nice addition. I wish I would come in the, that could come in an update or in later expansion. Body hair and, um, fingernails or, um, nail, nail paint. Wait, why am I, um, just fingernails, like colored fingernails. Why am I, that's not what they're called. What? Okay, I'm, I'm having a brain fart like I always probably do on this channel. And, okay, oh. I get, yeah, so I changed her, like, purple. She kind of now has more of an interesting taste towards the lavender, I think. That's why I gave her, because her outfits are kind of a lot more lighter purple, and except for this outfit when I have, it was pretty random thinking about it now, but I changed it into something. Go for an interesting hairdo. Yeah, like, yeah, that worked. Okay, I changed it to pink. That's a step. Or, oh, no, I didn't. I took the, what I did, I think, might have been, I took this top, I could have scratched, I think I might have scratched it later, because I didn't like it, and then I gave her this, um, like, robe to put over it, and this is when I decided to put the nail polish on it, nail polish, that's what I was think, not thinking, and then put it back on Lillian, but going back, I kept, I gave her this, I don't think I ended up using it, and I just, like, give up on it, but yeah, I do, and what do I go for, what do I go for? I guess I go for this. Oh, oh, but in that pink. Yeah, that pink looks really good. I'm happy I kept, I kept, I chose that. Added some, I like that. I like, I'm starting to like a lot of the luxury party makeup. It's really nice. And it, I mean, it's very flashing over the top, but I think it's pretty cute. That's why I kept it. Again, switching the hair. I, did I go for any swimsuit? Yeah, I did. I think I went for an orange one. Just a plain orange to um, bikini for her. I was gonna go for this like swimsuit, but I didn't think it suit her well. So wait for it. Yeah, here we go. This is when I decided to use the orange. It it worked fine on her. No regrets. Anyway, moving on to Oliver. So I just all of her hair took me a while too. I was trying to figure out what I wanted for him. So I ultimately decided to just cut his hair short and use the one that um, Carlo Dane had from get together and had the romantic garden hair oh i just passed it i think because none of the hairs from Ma the ea's maxis match wasn't really working for me like i didn't feel like it matched him i thought I, he likes his hair kind of flowy and laid back and right now um i was making him wear more since he's a food critic he's kind of fine he's kind of now starting to get more of a taste in formal attire and I changed his very, like, un ugly, uncomfortable, yellow, um, his formal, like, what it, I don't remember what they're called. And I'm just gonna call it indie, uh, Hindi outfit. It may not even be Hindi, gosh. I, talk, you see, the thing about what I don't like about city living's cultures is that it's a touchy subject, because I'm not well educated on, um, that many cultures. So, I'm sorry if I mess it up. Again, I know I'm just blabbing. Really, this whole cast me overall is just minor details for these Sims and not really much. So, other than that, I just tweak a lot of um, Oliver's outfits like I have with everyone else. So, I think I'm going to just cut it out because this video is about to end. So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. It would be much to me. Share your thoughts in the comments below. And I hope to see you guys all in the next video. So I'm going to just leave the rest here and cut to intro once it's done. So bye, guys.